buddy. See ya. This is what we're looking for. The Airy de Bruyère. Exactly, the wind goes inside them. Look, Mama, you see them! done. You might not have missed us last week, but we definitely missed you. We didn't make a video because we were out of town for a few days and then it was Easter and all that. But come Sunday evening last week, we were like, aww. No, no one to comment with. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're really looking forward to getting stuck in this week and making another video for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Last week we didn't really get a chance to do much of anything around here. A little bit of clean up uh, and we got away to the kite festival, which was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was actually amazing. I was um, blown away. <laughs> <laughs> like a kite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this week we are doubling down and we've decided to see if we can pull off making two more garden beds like the one that we made the week before last. Uh, summer is coming and we want to get veggies in the ground ASAP. Yeah. So let's go. Twice the amount of work. <laughs> yeah, should be good. I was going to need a lot of supplies if we were going to pull this off and they are heavy. I started by moving the trailer, but then I realized we're on YouTube now. I can just edit them in.
we'll just come out here before I lay these uh, foundations and just make sure that we're happy with the shape of it. Thanks. Spring has been off to such a rocky start, honestly. We've just, um, it hasn't stopped bloody raining. <laughs> yeah. Today, as you can see, it is a beautiful day and I am just making the most of it. I'm just out in the garden and I'm just pottering around um, try not to completely overwhelm myself with everything that needs doing. <laughs> I'm just doing like little things here and there. And this is one job that we need to do. This is a rose bush that we were given by our neighbours, our neighbour's mum actually. And when we got it, it was, it was like this. Like that's all she gave me in fact. I don't think it even had any leaves and we planted it, I planted it down there, down here along the fence, then I think we planted it somewhere else. <laughs> then we finally moved it here to creep along the wall and it is absolutely loving it. As you can see, it's gone bananas um, and it shoots off babies all the time. So we actually have this one here and we planted one here next to our well, which is also just going absolutely bananas. Um, and I need to tie it up, but hopefully it will climb up along this wall here of the pump house and well, which I think will be really pretty. It flowers with this beautiful, like baby pink uh, rose that's really soft and smells incredible. Um, so I can't wait for this to be covered in roses. But for now, um, last summer, we just needed two rows of um, wire to hold it up. But now, as you can see, it really needs an extra, an extra row of wire. So I'm gonna put that on, put that on now. Jack's the one actually that um, planted the rose here and did the initial support wire and has lovingly been guiding it along these wires and he was the one who wanted to do this but he's been a bit busy this week so I'm stealing one of his jobs. It's cool that they were on a horse. I know. Because you have to wind it all the way back and you can't just cut it. Well, it's stronger like this, isn't it? I guess. 
also I'm just copying what Dad did. See how he's done it like that? There we go. We'll see if Daddy notices, hey? <laughs> Maybe like, I wanted to do that job. You need to get Hoppy out. No, this is already so much better because like Hoppy makes a hole. It's much wider than it needs to be. Okay. It's really great on those ones because the ground was uneven. Hoppy lets you drag like a nice clean level line. But here the ground is pretty much level and there's no grass. Getting through the grass is the nightmare. Without the grass, like, this is lifting out easy breezy. The hole doesn't need to be so wide. I can see a roof. Yeah. We're going to save on concrete, save on time. Okay. This will be another, you know, 10 minutes and then we're cut and done. Just driving a hobby over here takes five minutes. Yeah, I know. I'm the just digging is fast, but moving it is slow. I'm just worried about your body. Uh, so the car seems to be making a strange noise. So we got chickens! We got chicks. <laughs> yeah, we got chicks. Soon to be chickens. Really soft hand. Cuckoos. Oh. Aww. Did you love it? Yesterday, no, this is not from climbing for a change. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, when I was building the garden bed, mm -hmm. I felt fine. I didn't feel sore, you know, it's never super comfortable mm -hmm. kneeling for a long time. Mm -hmm. But it was right the last 10 minutes. I was like, ah, oh, it's really starting to get sore on my knees. And then I saw why. Do you want to come see? Are they done? Come have a look. Look at these chickens' feathers. Look at these feathers. Look how they're all coming in. Amazing. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. You're gonna be so pretty. Pretty boy. <laughs> I hope you're a girl. You wanna come for a walk outside? No. No. Come have a look. Have you actually done two? <laughs> oh my goodness
time is it? It might seem to go very early. 9 30? I'm done, I'm done, I did it, I did it. It's finished, I need your help, I can't stand up. Did you go? Did you leave? Did you leave me out here in the dark? Oh! I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh, it's fine, I'm up! I reckon my estimate of how much soil we were going to need was pretty damn close. I think probably one more wheelbarrow, maybe two, um, and I can be a bit fussy, get sort of the nicest topsoil from around the back where it's left. Get this filled right up, probably top that one up a touch, and then I'm going to have to repair the edge of it because the tarp, which I put over the edge to protect it in case I whacked it with the shovel or anything, actually got hooked under the back edge of this rock and just flicked it right off, um, which I am gutted about. So, I'll have to patch that up. Oh, I can't believe it. You've done, I mean, you've basically done two in two days, <laughs> haven't you? I don't know, depends if you count the foundations. When did you do those? The day before. Well, you know my expectations are up here now. <laughs> I have so many regrets. <laughs> wow, look at this. Have you still got some more to do? Yeah, I have a tiny little bit of pointing left, but I got too excited and I just needed you to come and see. Yeah, they look amazing, don't they? I'm pretty happy with happy? them, yeah. Feels more like a circle now. It does. We were definitely getting some looks like, huh, it's a weird place for one garden bed. Oh, it looks like so much space now as well, hey? Yeah, for we lots grow of tons. plants. That's good because um, I've bought lots of plants. You've been plant shopping. Wanna show us what you got? Should we get planting then? Yeah. Let's do it. Fill these babies up. This isn't enough stuff. No, I've made you too many garden I beds. I need to start some more things from seed. These I've all bought, I bought these. Oh, really? Um, no, like I bought them as, no, I bought them as seedlings. I didn't grow any of them. Um, but I think I need to grow some from seed. Sometimes there's time to grow from seed and sometimes there's not. We needed a head start. Yeah. All oh, the bees are loving them They're though, loving aren't they? They're loving it. Oh, oh look, look, Jack, look. This is one of my favourite bees. These like humming, you know the humming bee bee? Those are not bees, those uh, are hummingbird moths. Hummingbird moth, yeah. Did you get it? See, see it? See it? Yeah. Oh, it's going to be so amazing coming out here. Getting and stung. <laughs> seeing all, you know, the, and butterflies. There's been a lot more butterflies. Yeah. You noticed around the front. Mommy, you can find me the one. Yeah. Are you going to help Mummy plant them? Yeah. Take one. Should we take the whole tray over? We can take the big tray. Look. I absolutely love this bit, like thinking about where everything's going to go. I'm glad you do because I really struggle with that. And I need to remember what these are. Did you get like pumpkins and courgettes? Mm, and, and cucumbers. <laughs> these are cucumbers. Okay, blue cumbers. And what's orange? Pumpkins. Butternut. That makes sense. Ooh, butternut. Yeah. Nice. Because we've grown these really well in the past. Yeah, butternut. These are zinnias. These are flowers. Oh yeah? They're going to be beautiful. Um, Help her mommy. Her sop? That's to grow over the edge, you know. Right, it already looks like it wants to yeah. dangle. 
already doing that. And then, um, oh. If only you could smell this at home. Oh, I know. I'll smell it extra for you guys. <laughs> Need to start popping it in and then visualising it. This You want to put this next to somewhere where you're going to walk past it, you know? Right. I think these are getting better and better each one you build. You reckon? I think you might know what you're doing now. It feels a little bit like that, yeah. Um, it was definitely a lot of trial and error in the first one. I think the, the mix of the lime mortar was like the hardest thing to get right, which is dumb because it's just a recipe. It's like three parts sand, one part lime, and then you add water until it feels right. But like, I don't know, it just felt like every batch that I mixed was a little bit different. No one will ever be able to see it on there but me, but there are definitely like colour differences. No, I can't see. No, uh, which is fine. But these ones I think were perfect. Okay, got that mixed down pat, figured out how to use the mixer, that actually takes Oh, is that hard? <laughs> well, it took some, I don't know, maybe I just managed to <laughs> muck it up. I had it mixing at the wrong angle the first couple and it was getting stuck and then I got it like tilted right and just little things like that, yeah. I think the trick as well, with the first one, I built it and pointed it as I went. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't perfectly pointed, but I tried to sort of fill in all the gaps as I went. But with these two, it's way easier, way quicker to just build the things super rough and then do all the pointing afterwards because you do the mix a little bit more dry when you're pointing as well and it packs it in nicely and yeah little things like that that i've sort of figured out but um feels pretty good now i feel like they look beautiful honestly and i'm just i can't wait to get my hands in them yeah i can't wait to see them full man filling them up is the hardest part that is a pain that is a that is a sore back even with a digger that's unpleasant I had to fill that one up by hand because we couldn't use the digger. It was after hours. Um, yeah. No, I feel like there's a line between I have done something and I can do something, you know. After that, I had made a bed. <laughs> I wouldn't have said I could. Like, yeah, I can oh, make beds. Yeah. But now I feel like, yeah, I can make garden beds out of stone. <laughs>